Now my girlfriend Wendy Matthews is holding a girls night in book night. She loves a good yarn and a good catch up, so let's go inside and see how it's going. Hello! Hi, Hello. Wendy! Hello. Oh, how are you? This is fantastic! Hi girls! Hi. So you're having an awesome book night. Mm. Now why do you think the girls night in message is such an important one? There were 17,000 women diagnosed in 2010 alone mm. with women's cancers. So this is just a great way to get together and catch up. <laughs> and um, we thought if we bring a book that we love, swap them, discuss, we might save some money on books. And um, what we save, we'll donate to Girls Night In. Such a great idea. Now, Kate, you've been personally affected by cancer. Now, how does it feel to know that women all over the country are rallying together to support Cancer Council's fight against women's cancers? It's absolutely fantastic, Laura. I, uh, I wasn't aware of the Girls' Night In when I first um, was diagnosed and had a lump. I actually had a discharge, and um, which I then found out was you know, related to breast cancer. Wow. Um, and that was quite uh, horrific, but uh, I was very lucky and uh, I just had a lumpectomy and everything's fine. So I was very lucky, but I now want to support Girls' Night In and the Cancer Council and uh, organise my own Girls' Nights In now. Wendy, your song, Standing Strong, is the anthem for Girls' Night In 2011. Where did the inspiration for that song come from? We all tend to go through times in our lives where we have a hard time battling with something. It seems sometimes the, the entire universe is sort of grabbed by lunacy. All my friends are having a hard time. So Standing Strong was at one of those times. Fantastic. And I'm just incredibly honoured that it's being used for this this year. So there you have it, a girls' night in book night. An amazing way to get all the girls together, have fun and raise some money. For more information, get online at www.girlsnightin.com.au.